Well, you take a look at a surprisingly great assist presented by State Farm. Hubert and others have assisted their teams to the Final Four in their first season as a head coach. Bill Guthridge also did it with North Carolina in 1998. Steve Fisher ended up winning the national championship at Michigan. Man will coach Michigan after taking over for Bill Frieder, Larry Brown, Bill Hodges, and Danny Crum all on that list as Hubert joins quite a list of tremendous coaches. In that conversation with him, you know, the, the unflappable demeanor that we've known for years, uh, and he's become a close friend of, of all of ours, I thought the way he weathered the season when they didn't play well, when sometimes they weren't as competitive as maybe you would have liked, um, and was able to guide them through. They play hard now. It's a testament to the way he was patient with them and developed them. Played against them in college, played against them for 11 years in the NBA. To your point, unflappable. A tremendous poise about him and a great feel for the game. And I think part of that has been influenced by the great coaches that he's had, not only at the collegiate level, but at the pro level, including Pat Riley. And Seth, to be able to come in and implement a new style, four out, one in, with the focus on shooting, to deal with a bit of adversity and bounce back from that. I think this this team is very uh, a sweet group of guys, but incredibly intense in terms of being competitive. And I think that's what we see from their team. So I don't even worry about the X and O's. Mm -hmm. Like you said, he played for great coaches. I mean, he played for Dean Smith. He played for great coaches. He played with great players. This was a lesson in leadership. Mm -hmm. This was an absolute clinic in leadership because the way they started the season, there were doubters, and people say, I don't pay attention to any of that. You can't not pay attention when you're head coach at North Carolina. That's just the way it is. And the only thing he focused on was the most important people, his team, and his ability to put good days on top of each other, to redefine what playing hard is, to redefine what basically the core beliefs and the non-negotiables were at North Carolina, to get those guys to believe that that's one game, that's not, a, that's not our destination. Mm -hmm. Like, the road to success is always under construction. There are going to be roadblocks and detours. That's just the way it is. That's part of it. Adversity reveals your character, who you are. Mm -hmm. And he used that as a teachable moment. To me, the best coaching job he did was the job he did as a leader. That was a lesson in leadership. And, and I, I talk to young coaches all the time. I always tell coaches, when you get your first head coaching job, it's really, really important. Enjoy it. Embrace it. You work so hard to sit in that seat. Hubert Davis embraced it. He enjoyed it. It was never a burden, but more importantly, it was a responsibility to help those guys navigate that road, and he did it seamlessly. Yeah, he bleeds North Carolina mm -hmm. blue and is emblematic of all that that <laughs> stands for, and I think that's why he's such a great fit for them and has I done such that, a great I, job. See that kind of Carolina blue tie on? That might, <laughs> is that going to impact your pick? Like you were a little yeah. low. Well, you know, he, uh, <laughs> he's a man of deep conviction, yes. deep faith. He views this as his mission field to be able to impact his players, and he says, you know, I've already had my time. He goes, my time now and my mission is to try to help the Tar Heels, and he's been able to get them into the Final Four. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.